Okay, so in that last module, we talked about what the investigative process might look like if someone comes to you and makes an allegation. I want to talk a little bit now, what happens if it's you? What should you do if you've been sexually harassed? All right? So the topics that we have covered earlier should give you an idea as to whether you are a victim of sexual harassment. But if you're still unsure, you should seek expert advice straight away. All right? Go talk to an attorney. Talk to your managing broker. Talk to somebody and get their opinion. Dude, uh, is this really what I should... Did I hear this correctly? Yeah. yeah. They may have said that. You probably ought to seek uh, help. All right? Write down everything that happens to you, including dates and times and location and any witnesses. Now, we talked about this with your client. I'm also advocating these same notes, maybe with a coworker or your boss. Now, obviously, if it's your boss, you don't want to go to your boss for help. You might want to go to their boss or an attorney, all right? Keep copies of all of this uh, communication. If someone is sending you pornography pictures with a quote that says, hey, you and me later tonight or something like that, dude, keep all those emails, all right? Make sure that you have a trail so that when you report it, you have sufficient evidence to do this. Report the harassment to your HR guy or girl, sorry, that could be sexist. Uh, to your HR person um, or the boss or the supervisor or an attorney. Make sure that you, they get to see all of this document. Do not delay. Here's the problem. There is a, under state law, there may be a time is up. Nah, I don't want to use that word. There may be a, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I've lost my mind. You have 180 days from the date of the harassment starts to file this claim. All right? Um, geez, I lost my mind. What is that called when it expires? Statute of limitation. There is a statute of, thank you very much, Dave. Dave, <laughs> Dave yelled up here, statute of limitation. Cool. Now I got to put you on the byline for this because you helped me. Uh, statute of limitations of 180 days from the date of the sexual harassment starts, okay? Now, the problem with that is, how do you know really when it starts? You know, that person made a comment. You thought, well, uh, I told him no, that's a comment. Now, two days later, they make a second comment, and you go, well, that person's an idiot. They've said something twice. Then they said something a third time. It's kind of hard to determine when it starts, you could potentially file a claim with the Equal, Oppor Equal Employment Opportunity Commission or HUD if it fits under those rules. But letter F on that slide as you look up there literally probably should be number one in my opinion. You better contact an attorney. That's what I would do out of the gate. Contact an attorney and go, dude, here's a problem. What do you think? Most attorneys are going to talk to you especially something of this sensitive of nature, they're not going to try and bill you for the initial conversation because that would lead to some people going, well, I can't afford a bill, so I'm not going to call an attorney, but yet I feel trapped in this job. No. Most attorneys, you tell them what the topic is, they're going to say, yeah, come in, let's talk. Then they'll determine, okay? So I would put letter F up there on the slide, as probably number one, <laughs> contact an attorney, okay? And maybe number two, write down all the information, then contact an attorney. Make sure that there has actually been a harassment situation, all right?